Hello everyone. So, welcome to the last lecture of this module and it is the last lecture of this course also. So, in this lecture I will talk about multi step method for solving ordinary differential equation numerically. So, in the past few lectures we have talked about Euler's method and then runge kutta method of order 2 and order 4. So, in all those methods like in Euler's method we have taken our approximation of y at x equals to x k plus 1 as y k plus h times f of x k y k. So, here we are assuming that our x equals to x k and at x k y k the value of y k y is y k and these two values are known to us and from these two values we are moving to the next value of y at next point that is y k plus 1. In the same way in the Euler's uh, runge kutta method what we have done we have calculated the value of y at x equals to x k plus 1 h y at x equals to x k plus k where k is coming from the average of k 1 and k 2 and k 1 is given as h time f of x k y k and k 2 is given as h time f of x k plus h y k plus k 1. Now, please look here that for finding the value of y at x equals to x k plus 1 that is y k plus 1, we are using the value of y at x equals to x k and x k and y k. So, for finding the value in the next approximation or in the next iteration, what we are doing? We are using only the value of current iteration. Similarly, we are doing the same thing in runge kutta method. So, here we are moving one step that for finding the value in the next iteration, we are taking the value of current iteration only. However, in multi step method, we will use the value not only the value of current iteration, but we will use values of some previous iterations also like the value at x equals to x k minus 1 at x equals to x k minus 2 and so on. And that is why for calculating the value of y at x equals to x k plus 1 we are using value at k iteration in k minus 1 iteration in k minus 2 iterations and that is why it is uh, called multi step method. So, the principle behind a multi step method is to utilize the past values of y and or derivative of y to construct a polynomial that approximates the derivative function and then extrapolate this into the next interval. So, basically using 4 to 5 points we will construct or approximate a polynomial of degree 4 or 5 and for the value of in the next iteration or at the next point we will ex extrapolate the value using this particular polynomial. So, the number of past point that are used sets the degree of the polynomial which we are going to approximate or going to fit and is therefore responsible for the truncation error. The order of the method is equal to the power of h in the global error term of the formula which is also equal to 1 more than the degree of the polynomial. So, if we are having 4 degree polynomial we will be having the error of order h raised to power 5. So, generally using an implicit linear multi step method there is an additional difficulty because we cannot solve simply for the newest approximate y value that is y n k plus k. So, because we are having an implicit formula and here we are having the value of y at x equals to x n plus k in left hand side as well as in right hand side 
and hence how to get out the value explicitly that is the problem here. So, a general case step implicit method involves at the k time step by this equation. So, alpha k y n plus k plus 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 like that alpha 1 y 1 plus alpha 0 y 0 and this is equals to h times beta k f of n plus k plus 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 beta 1 f 1 plus beta 0 f 0. So, now here you can note down that here in this equation I am having the value of y n plus k in the left hand side and f n plus k in the right hand side. Basically, this f n plus k is also involving the term y n plus k because f n plus k is f of x n plus k that is n plus k times h into comma y n plus k. So, in this way we are having y n plus k in the both sides and that is why we are saying it an implicit scheme. So, to get rid of this particular thing one solution is to only use explicit method in which right hand side is 0 that is all beta are 0. However, this is not so good as an implicit method generally, but it can have a simplification in terms of calculation or as I told you it is simple in calculation, but not so good in terms of approximation. So, what is the solution? The solution is to use predictor corrector method. So, explicit scheme with predictor corrector formulation. So, the predictor corrector method involves the predictor step in which we use an explicit method to obtain an approximation y n plus k raised to power p to y n plus k. So, or you can say it star also. If you see the Siler's formula, as I told you it may be considered in a way as a PC formula that is predictor corrector formula, since we are going to express it in this way and here only we are using p equals to y n plus 1, p equals to y n plus h times f x n y n. While in corrector form y n plus 1 c can be obtained at y n plus h by 2 f of x n y n plus f x n plus 1 y n plus 1 p and which is the accurate Euler's form modified method in which we are taking the average of the slope in the whole interval. In the above scheme that is in this scheme the formula p is a first order formula having an order error of order h while formula c that is the corrector is a second order formula which has an order of h cube. So, the above formula may be treated if required as y n plus 1 c k plus 1 equals to y n plus h by 2 f of x n y n plus f of x n y n plus 1 c k where k equals to 1 2 3. So, you can iterate and iterate again and again. Now, we will come to multi step predictor corrector formula and this is the Milnage method. So, in Milnage method let us assume that the value of y and y dash are known may be given to us or it may be computed by any self static method like Euler's method or any other method. For the points like x n minus 2, x n minus 1, x n and the initial value x n minus 3. So, we have the Newton's forward formula in terms of y prime phase u with the starting node point as y prime equals to y prime n minus 3 plus u times delta that is the forward difference operator y prime n minus 3 plus u into u minus 1 upon factorial 2 uh, del square y prime n minus 3 plus u into u minus 1 into u minus 3 uh, 2 upon factorial 3 and then del cube of y prime n minus 3 and so on, where this u is x minus x n minus 3 upon h, where h is the step size. So, we can write x as x minus 3 plus h times u and from here we can write dx equals to h times du. Now, consider the initial value problem y prime equals to f of x y and the initial value is given at x n minus 3 
that is y at x n minus 3 is y n minus 3. Now, if we differentiate it uh, sorry integrate it both sides from x n minus 3 to x n plus 1 then we can have this equation that integration over x n minus 3 to x n plus 1 d y equals to x n minus 3 to x n plus 1 y prime d x or when uh, this integration will be y when I will substitute limits. So, it will become y n plus 1 minus y n minus 3 from the lower limit equals to h times 0 to 4 and from the Newton's forward formula it can be written as y, y prime n minus 3 plus u into delta of y prime n minus 3 and so on up to fourth order and finally du of this. So, y n plus 1 minus y n minus 3 equals to we are writing as this formula and when I will di uh, uh, integrate it the u terms will come here because the uh, integration of 1 will become u with respect to u. So, when I will substitute limit, so upper limit is 4. So, it will become 4 times y prime n minus 3 which is my first term then in the second term it will become u square upon 2. So, when I will substitute the limit u square will become 4 into 4 16. So, 16 by 2 will become 8. So, 8 times delta of y prime n minus 3 and similarly we got another 3 terms. The third term will become 20 upon 3 del square y prime n minus 3 plus 8 upon 3 del q y prime n minus 3 plus 14 upon 45 uh, del 4 y prime n minus 3. Now, we will replace this forward difference operator by shift operator. So, we know that from the interpolation that del, delta equals to e minus 1. So, I can write this delta 8, time, 8 delta into 8 times e minus 1. Similarly, for del square it will become e minus 1 square del q will become e minus 1 cube and this term I will take out in terms of delta only. So, when I will use it and so 4 times y prime n minus 3 will remain as such from here I will get 8 times e of y prime n minus 3. So, v e of y prime n minus 3 will become y prime n minus 2 because we know from the shift operator that e of n, y of n plus 1 will become y of n plus 2. So, hence it will become 8 times y prime n minus 2 minus 8 times y prime n minus 3 plus 20 by 3 y prime n minus 1 minus 2 times y prime n minus 2 plus y prime n minus 3. So, this is coming from this e minus 1 square and similarly for this term I will get 8 by 3 into y prime n minus 3 times y prime n minus 1 plus 3 y prime n minus 2 minus y prime n minus 3 and then this term which we have taken out already that is 14 h upon 45 del 4 of y prime n minus 3. Now, after simplification here we are having 4 times y prime n minus 3 here we are having minus 8 times y prime n minus 3 similarly similarly here I am having 20 by 3 times y prime n minus 3 and here minus 8 by 3 times y prime n minus 3. So, after simplification I will get that y n plus 1 minus y n minus 3 that is the left hand side equals to 4 times h upon 3 into twice of y prime n minus 2 minus y prime n minus 1 plus 2 times y prime n plus 14 h upon 45 del 4 of y prime n minus 3 or I take this the term y n minus 3 in the right hand side. So, I will get this equation and let us denote that this term which I have taken out as e 1 that is the error in predictor and this is given as by this expression that is 
14 h upon 45 del 4 of y prime n minus 3 and this I can say it is of order h 5 that is by the Taylor series 14 h raised to power 5 upon 45 into fifth order derivative of y at some point j 1, where this point j 1 exists between x n minus 3 to x n plus 1 in this interval. So, thus the formula y n plus 1 equals to y n minus 3 plus 4 h upon 3 2 y prime n minus 2 minus y prime n minus 1 plus 2 times y prime n is called the Milne's predictor formula or the ex extrapolation formula with error of order h raised to power 5 given by this expression. Now, we need to drive character formula. So, from here we will get the value of y n plus 1, but that will be the predict value we have to correct this value and for this we need character formula. So, for the character formula again we will consider the same initial value problem, but with different initial point. So, now we will consider initial point as x of n minus 1. So, and we consider that y at x equals to x n minus 1 equals to y n minus 1. Again we will use Newton's forward formula with starting node x n minus 1 in terms of y dash and u. So, it is given by this expression y dash equals to y dash n minus 1 plus u times del y dash n minus 1 plus u into u minus 1 upon factorial 2 del square y dash n minus 1 and so on. So, we have taken it up to del 3 and here u is x minus x n minus 1 upon h or I can write from this equation x equals to x n minus 1 plus h times u. So, it will become dx equals to h times du which is the same as in predictor formula. However, range is different in the predictor we were having the range from x n minus 3 to x n plus 1, but here we are using the range from x n minus 1 to x n plus 1. So, we are using here only 3 steps wherever in predictor formula we were using total four steps. So, we have again the integral over x n minus 1 to x n plus 1 of d y equals to integral of a y prime d x over x n minus 1 to x n plus 1. So, in the same way as we did in predictor for, uh, formula, we can take this range as y n plus 1 minus y n minus 1 and this is equals to h times integral 0 to 2 because you can see earlier it was from 0 to 4 in the predictor y prime n minus 1 plus u del of y prime n minus 1 plus u into u minus 1 upon factorial 2 del square y prime n minus 1 and plus third order and fourth order term and du of this. So, finally, <coughs> after integrating it over u with respect to u and putting the upper limit of u as 2 and lower limit as 0 it is coming out as h times 2 times y prime n minus 1 plus 2 delta y prime n minus 1 plus 1 by 3 del square y prime n minus 1 minus 1 upon 90 del raised to del 4 y prime n minus 1. So, again we will replace this forward difference operator by the shift operator that is we replace del by del equals to e minus 1 and we will get this expression. And here again like we have done in the earlier step, we, we will take this 1 upon 90 del h to power 4 y prime n minus 1 outside the bracket. So, we have done it here after simplification it is coming out as h by 3 y prime n minus 1 plus 4 times y prime n plus y prime n plus 1 plus e 2 where e 2 is the error and it is of the order h raised to power 5 which is similar to the predictor 1. So, the formula y n plus 1 equals to y n minus 1 plus h by 3 into y prime n minus 1 plus 4 times y prime n plus y prime n plus 1 is called the Milne's character formula with error and error of order h raised to power 5. So, hence we are having character formula as this one from here we will get 
an initial value or a predicted value of y n plus 1 which will be corrected by the corrected, uh, corrected formula this one which we have just drive. So, combination of these two formulas are called Milnes PC formula uh, predictor corrector method. So, let us take an example. So, we need to solve the differential equation dy over dx equals to x square plus y square minus 2 for x equals to 0 0.3 by Milne predictor corrector method compute the starting values at x equals to minus 0 0.1, 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 by the Taylor expansion about x equals to 0 where y 0 is 1 taking first non-zero terms, four non-zero terms in the Taylor series expansion. So, here y 0 is 1, f of x y is x square plus y square minus 2 that is my y prime x. So, basically what I am having? So, y prime is f of x y and it is x square plus y square minus 2. and it is also given that y 0 equals to 1. So, now y prime 0 will become 0 square plus 1 square minus 2 because it is f of x y and it is coming out as minus 1. Now, I will calculate y double prime, y double prime x will become twice of x plus twice of y into y prime. So, it will become twice of x plus twice of y into x square plus y square minus 2 and when I will calculate the value of y prime at double prime at 0, it will be 0 plus 2 times y at 0 will become 2, 0 plus 1 minus 2, so minus 2. Similarly, I will calculate y triple prime at 0 and again I will differentiate this with respect to x and I will substitute the value of y prime from here in the expression and it will come out finally as 0. I will also calculate as I told you in the Taylor series expansion we will use first four terms. So, I will calculate this value and this will come out as 12. Now, after calculating these values I will use the Taylor series expansion of y about x equals to 0. So, y x can be written as y 0 plus x times y prime 0 plus x square upon factorial to y double prime 0 and so on. So, substituting all these values I will get y x which is approximately equal to 1 minus x minus x square plus x raised to power 4 upon 2 after getting this particular expression, I will calculate the value of y at uh, minus 0 0.1, 0 0.1 and 0 0.2. So, once I will calculate it, I will get y at the point x equals to minus 0 0.1 equals to 1.09, y at x equals to 0 again coming out as 1 which is also given to us as an initial condition then y at 0 0.1 is 0 0.89 and y at 0 0.2 is 0 0.7608. Now, I will use I am having all these values of y at these points uh, these four points. So, I will get the I will calculate the value of y at 0 0.3 using the Milne predictor formula. So, I will put the value here in this formula and after simplifying it I am getting this value as 0 0.6149. Once I will get this value that is the predicted value of y 3 
Now, I need to crack this value. So, for this I will use character formula which is given by this particular equation that is y n plus 1 equals to y n minus 1 plus h by 3 y prime n minus 1 plus 4 times y prime n plus y prime n plus 1. So, after using this the corrected value of y at x equals to 0 0.3 can be obtained as 0 0.6149. So, in this way we can apply the Milne predictor corrector method for solving ordinary differential equations and here as I told you we should know the value of y at more than one point. In this Milne method we should know this value at least at four points for which I either given to us or we need to calculate using Taylor series method or Euler's method or any other method. So, this method is multi step method and it is more accurate compared to the single step method since the accuracy in this method of order h raised to power 5 in predictor as well as in character formula. How uh, and hence we can use larger step size for computation when compared to the Euler's method where for get, uh, getting a better accuracy we need to use a smaller step size. So, with this I will stop the discussion about this method. Now, since it is the last lecture, so I would like to tell you about few references which I have used for making all these lectures. So, the first one is the book Applied Numerical Analysis by Gerald and Whitney and it is I have used the sixth edition of this book. The other book is Numerical Methods for Scientific and Engineer Computations by Jane Enger and Jane. Moreover, I have taken some of the notes of Professor S. Bhaskar from IIT Bombay and the uh, notes of his course introduction to numerical analysis which is online at IIT Bombay website. And the last references which I have used the book elementary numerical and an numerical analysis and algorithmic approach by Conte and Dipur that is and I have taken the third edition of this book which is published by McGraw Hill. So, these are the references which I have followed in this course. Apart from that I would like to acknowledge few people. The first of all I would like to acknowledge education technology cell IIT Roorkee, especially Professor B. K. Gandhi, the coordinator of PT cell at IIT Roorkee, along with his team Dr. Nivedita, Sarat, Mohan and other people who have along me during the shooting of this course. I am also thankful to program implementation committee NPTEL and in the last but not least I am very thankful to my teaching assistant Ms. Savita which is also a PhD student at Department of Mathematics Society Rurki and she helped me for preparing all these slides for this course. So, thank you very much.